Hey guys, I'm Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up? It's great to see you. So just a few things I wanted to talk about before we get into the readings uh, for the first half of May. Um, these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, I'm telling the story as I see it, and I'm reading for a bunch of different people. So if something is resonating with you, but I'm not exactly telling the story as it specifically goes for your situation, just take the elements that you feel resonate and place them where you feel that they go, okay? And if something, if you hear something and it doesn't resonate with you, please don't try and make it fit. Just let it go and you know continue rolling on with the story until you reach another point where th that resonates with you and place that where it goes for you. Yes, um, I am available for private readings. Uh, if you would like to get a reading with me, my email address and the description of the readings that I offer currently are found in the description box below. Um, Please go ahead and email me and you know we can get something set up. I am very, very happy to help you guys out in this way and help you get clarity on whatever situations you are facing in your life. Um, unfortunately, I will not be taking any more questions from Instant Go at this time. Um, Instant Go is a great service. If you have a quick question you want to ask, I highly recommend you do so through Instant Go. And that Instant Go is an iPhone app. But for me, I don't have an iPhone. I have an iPad, but I don't travel with that. Um, and my schedule is so busy and crazy that I don't always have time or even remember, to, to be quite honest, to check Instant Go. And so a lot of those, a few people have sent me questions and I completely miss it. And by the time I actually do get to it, the question's been deleted. And if that is you, I highly apologize. Instant Go just is not um, the best avenue for me at this time. So if you would like to get a reading with me, I encourage you to email me and we will set something up that way. Um, a bit of good news, I will be reading um, in person at Om Shanti Bookstore in the East Village of Manhattan. So if you guys are in the five boroughs or you are visiting, um, New York City, I encourage you guys to come see me. Yay! We can meet in person and have a little chat and whatnot. Um, have our a, a conversation, yeah? Uh, the, even, I'm sorry, the uh, website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box below as well. Just go to the website and um, you can, you know, get the address and all that. I will be there every Monday from 11 to 5. I will not be there uh, Monday, May 7th because May 6th is my birthday and I'm gonna have some fun, right? So uh, thank you to Rakesh for <laughs> giving me the day off because I, I, I'm probably gonna need it. Just throwing it out there. Um, let's see, I believe that's it. Yeah, so without further ado. Alrighty, Leo, let's get into your reading. So this is for the uh, first through the 15th of May. Yeah. So let's do this. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Leo for this time period of May 1st to the 15th. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. So I have to say, I'm really pretty interested in what this has to say. Leo is my moon sign. Um, my sun is in Taurus, uh, my rising is in Virgo, Virgo is next, and uh, my Venus is in Aries, and I have resonated with both the Aries and the Venus readings, I'm sorry, the Aries and Taurus readings so far, so I'm super interested in seeing what's going on for Leo and Virgo, so Leo, let's get into this, yeah? Leo, Leo. One more shuffle for you, Leo, and then I'll cut the deck. And we will get into this, yeah? Cut the deck. All right, Leo. Overall energy. We're starting with ooh, the Five of Cups in reverse, and this is something that I like to see. There is a lot of purging happening here, um, but purging in the sense of 
not crying over spilled milk anymore, if that resonates with you. Um, moving out of a period of mourning, if you have recently gone through something that really puts you in a state of mourning, you felt a lot of loss of, or some of some sort, you are in this energetic space of moving forward from that, taking steps forward to put your life back together in some senses for some of you, yes? We also have, yeah, the Queen of Swords, okay? The Queen of Swords is absolutely helping you move out of this, we'll say, dramatic period. And why are we saying dramatic period? Well, because the Queen of Swords is not about the drama. Now, Leos can be very, um, we'll say dramatic, and I don't mean that in a derogatory term, but hey, it is what it is. I mean, I'm a Leo moon, so, and the, your moon sign is how you relate to your emotions, so... Yeah, that can get really dramatic. But here we have the Queen of Swords in the sense that um, it's time to let go now, is what she's saying. It's time to move on, honey. Like, you had your moment, you know, you you, you purged, you've been purging. Let me help you purge even more, because it's time to cut out the bullshit, yes? We also have the Knight of Cups. Um, in this deck, it's it's listed as, or it's, it's called, excuse me, it's called the Prince of Cups, but this is also the Knight of Cups here. Um, this is love. This is looking at love in a new way also, um, and this is looking to move forward in love. Now, this could be you wanting to send a message uh, um, of love and appreciation towards someone. It could be you looking for, like, be embodying the Knight of Cups and going out there with this brand new point of view, perspective for you, Leo, and, and seeking that divine partner, even, a soulmate, um, someone that you can get to know, someone that you can spend time with. Um, this also could be a message of love coming towards you, okay? It could be that someone wants to, you know, communicate with you, express their love for you, um, it could be that this could be someone who, you know, it's coming back from the past. Um, what I'm really picking up here is you, if this is someone that, well, okay, no, it goes both ways. Either if you are the person that wants to send a message of love and appreciation, or if someone wants to come forward towards you with this type of message. Either way, the Queen of Swords energy is at play here. For those of you that want to send a message, um, you are being very logical and methodical about it. And you're looking at things from a, a straightforward, completely logical and analytical point of view. Um, taking the, as much of the emotion out of it as you can, because, you know, in this part we're talking about love. But um, looking at it from a strict, no bullshit point of view. Conversely, if you are the one that could potentially be receiving this message, you are embodying the Queen of Swords energy. And this person that wants to send this message to you is aware of that. They feel that energy coming from you. They may even see it in some of your actions if, you know, you guys are, have been interacting with each other or if, you know, say they've been watching you from a distance. And um, most of what the Queen of Swords energy has to do with is you walking away or moving forward from Five of Cups energy, okay? Finally, on the, on the, the bottom of everything for you, Leo, we have the Four of Swords in reverse. So you may have been in a period of respite, um, a mental rest, I know if you're on a twin flame journey, um, there ha it has been, well, not even, take the twin flame label out of it. Just as a, pu as a human being on this planet at this moment in time, with all of the intense energies that have been going on, with all the solar flares that have been hitting us, and I really feel like the fire signs are um, really vibing with all these solar flares that are coming towards us because it is fire and fire is your element. Um, you're coming out, oh wait, I'm sorry, let me turn this back over so you can see it. You're coming out of this moment of rest because there has, it, there has been a, a, a strong call for all of us to really rest right now because we're all ascending and, you know, our bodies are changing. We are adapting a crystalline body, a crystalline body in, uh, uh, for, uh, in replace of the uh, carbon-based bodies that we have been living in. Um, so there are a lot of bit, a lot of energetic upgrades, a lot of changes that are happening. And so you've been needing to rest, but now is a time to come out of that restful period. I'm also picking up that for some of you, if you haven't been resting, um, the universe is going to force you to rest. <laughs> yeah. Because it's necessary and it's not, it's not a bad thing to take, just take some time and for yourself, do some self care, tie up some loose ends that have been, you know, slowly fraying <laughs> as time goes on. You know what I mean? So there's that. Let's get into the storyline, Leo. We have the lovers in reverse. 
and we have the Three of Wands in reverse. There's a blockage here, okay? And it could be that the Queen of Swords energy that you're embodying is putting this blockage in the way. Um, I'm not going to say that that's a bad thing because it doesn't necessarily feel like a bad thing. I don't feel like the Queen of Swords is really all that rever reversed right now. Um, there could be some moments where, you know, she bites a little too hard, she cuts a little too, too quick. Um, but at the same time, if that happens, it's coming from an intuitive place, okay? So with the, the, the six of, I'm sorry, with um, the lovers and the three of wands in reverse, this is about, um, the three of wands is like about waiting for your ships to come in, having made a choice and now doing the work for, to prepare for those ships to come in. And the lovers in reverse is like, okay, it could be a choice and it could also speak to a soulmate relationship, um, which is also what we have here in the Knight of Cups. I I'm not feeling bad things. I'm feeling that there is a blockage, okay, with the lovers and the three of wands. It could be that some of you are struggling to make a decision when it comes to something that's really, really important to you. But that struggle in making the decision is stemming from uncertainty when it comes to, you know, uh, waiting for your ships to come in. When is it going to come in? How is it going to come in? This, that, and the other thing. And, and like, I feel like some of you are over stressing on the details that are really meant for the universe to take over. You just need to focus on what you need to do in the physical plane to prepare for this ship to come in because it's coming. I mean, the three of wands is saying it's coming, but the universe is experiencing a bit of blockage in bringing it towards you just because of anxiety and worry about the specifics. The specifics are not something that we can handle, guys. That's the universe's job, okay? Next, we have the Seven of Wands in reverse. So uh, laying down defenses, that's a good thing, with the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is upright here. So here's the deal. There has been a lot of defensiveness, um, either on your part, Leo, or on the part of somebody else. And now those those wands of defense are being laid down, okay, uh, with the seven of wands in reverse. And because of that now, a new choice is being is being presented to you. And this is part of what I was talking about with the three of wands in reverse, in that, um, you know, the ships are coming in, but that defensiveness that has, that you have been, that you or someone else has been putting forward, that guardedness has been blocking you from taking the actual steps that you need to take in order to help facilitate the ships to come in, but also to help prepare and be ready for when the ships actually get here, okay? So in laying down these wands, now, Leo, you're getting to a point where it's like you can actually face the reality that this is actually coming to you, okay? It is on its way. So now you can take the steps and make the choices necessary to prepare for this ship to come in. Because think about it this way. When the ships are at, it coming in from water, you know, it could, it, it, you still have to get from the shore to the ship. So you have to get a boat, um, get a raft, I don't know, get a freaking inner tube, get, <laughs> get some like, uh, some, 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 I don't know, one of those things that you put on your feet that are like fins that help when you're snorkeling or when you're like, um, diving deep, dive, whatever, you get it. You still have to get from the ship, from the shore to the ship. Okay. And so that is what the two of wands is symbolizing here. How are you going to get to that ship when it finally arrives? Yes. Next, we have the Four of Cups with the Tower. Okay, so um, I'm picking up on some meditative energy here, but I'm also picking up that there is a Tower moment either coming or that you have been experiencing, Leo, um, where you're kind of like in denial of it a little bit. And that's also related to excuse me, it's also related to um, this resistance towards something coming forward towards you, okay? Um, I'm also picking up on some meditative energy. The big thing I'm picking up here for you, Leo, is that um, this tower moment is here. You are in the process of it. And you are working on understanding what the true messages and the true lessons of this tower moment are. Um, and in that, you know, the universe is trying to hand you something, okay? You see that one, that fourth cup that's up above this woman's head. The universe is presenting you with something. And so what I'm really getting here is 
um, this contemplative moment, this meditative moment is figuring out what you want to do about that. Basically, you're not necessarily um, rejecting or denying the offer yet for some of you. For the most part, you're just, you're preparing for it, okay? And you're using the energy of this current tower moment to really get a grip on, you know, what's been going on in your life, in your life and how you can really honor this message or this blessing, this gift that the universe is working on bringing towards you. Next, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse with ah, the Hermit in reverse. So what's also going on with this Tower moment is that you're having a bit of trouble walking away from something, leaving some sort of reality behind, some sort of unfulfilling situation or relationship behind. But that's mostly because, Leo, you're not really doing the work to go within to really understand things. And that, for the most part, is why the tower is here. Because there are these things that you knew you had to work on, okay? You have had to do some deep soul searching, some really, some deep inner work. And for some of you that has been, you've been resisting that. And that deep inner soul work is what is represented here by the three of wands in reverse and also the lovers in reverse. You need to make a choice for yourself you need to choose yourself and in choosing yourself you are helping the universe bring this blessing and this message and this this gift to you so that you can be happy and fulfilled and you you can be rewarded um, for the, the work that you've done but in order for that to come forward there are things that you need to go within and clean up on clean up um, and move away from in an energetic sense so that you have the space to allow this to come to you, okay? Next, we have judgment, a higher calling, ascension. Ascension was the first word that I heard when I pulled this card, okay? Next, ah, the ace of wands in reverse. So this is kind of scary. I get it. Um, there's a little bit of fear here. Fear of the unknown is what's coming forward here. There is something that is, you're moving away from something, especially with the Five of Cups in reverse. Um, and you're being analytical and logical about it with the Queen of Swords, but it's still, you're still nervous about it. You're still a bit fearful about it because it is the unknown. This feels a lot like the Fool in the sense that you're, you're kind of jumping off a cliff in a sort of way. There's a lot of faith that needs to be held on to here. The judgment is upright, okay? So the calling that you've been hearing, that you have been feeling a pull to answer, is divinely guided. It's a blessing, okay? But with the Ace of Wands in reverse, you're kind of fearful. You're like, I don't know. I don't know about this universe. What's going on here? <clears throat> yeah, but understand that the universe has your back, okay? And this Tower moment is here for a reason because there are some things, there are some mental and emotional structures that need to be removed so that you can move forward in your life. Next, we have the Prince of Pentacles or the Knight of Pentacles in reverse with the King of Cups, okay? So, um, blockage, yes, stagnation, um, not moving forward. I'm feeling refusal to move forward in some way. Um, and, and this is, I believe this is speaking to the the message or that was uh, re that's referred to here with the Knight of Cups. Someone wants to come forward towards you, Leo, or you want to move forward towards somebody. But with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse here, this is talking about um, not really knowing how to do it, when to do it, or even why to do it in some cases, um, and kind of being stagnant, stuck, not moving, just standing still, but still embodying this Knight of Cups, I'm sorry, this uh, King of Cups energy. Someone, I'm picking up that someone is very, very much emotionally available right now but they don't know how to move forward. They may not even want to move forward right now because of this energy that they're feeling, mostly because of the Queen of Swords energy. But I'm not saying, you know, to whoever this is resonating with, I'm not saying to you to ditch the Queen of Swords. No, do not ditch the Queen of Swords. Keep her in balance, okay? Understand that you are in this Queen of Swords energy because of the past, because you're moving away from the from the uh, from the five of cups energy, okay? Just keep it in balance. But 
Oof, wow, this is with, with these two cards right here. Like, I'm getting some really intense energy. There is someone out there, if this resonates with you in this way, or it just could be you, Leo. But someone is ready, is emotionally available. Okay, they and and some and I'm also picking up that for whoever this resonates with. If you are in this King of Cups energy, you are pretty much just now embracing it, embodying it. Like you've been working with it for some time, but it's really now, it's really taking hold. So the Knight of Cups, in, I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is saying, <clears throat> you don't know how to move forward yet. You're not moving forward right now because this, this reality of the King of Cups is fairly new to you, okay? Now that could be you, Leo, but that could also be somebody that's... Uh, this other person that you are connected with that is being represented by either the, by the Prince of Cups and also the lovers here. Okay, next we have ah the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Leo. Wish Fulfillment, and that is upright with, oh my goodness, the Two of Cups, and this is upright as well. So look guys, it's here, the Three of Wands, it's here. But in order for this to come through, in order for this Wish Fulfillment and this, this deep soulmate connection, with the lovers and the two of cups, guys, in order for this deep soulmate connection to come through and for in order for your wishes to be fulfilled, you must do this inner work, okay? You must release the past um, that has gone on between you two. I'll get into this. If we are talking about a twin flame relationship here, um, in order for this to move forward, in order for you two to really um, get back on the path of reconnecting in whatever way that manifests for you in this moment, you must go within and do the inner work to release the past, okay? The past is the past, you just have to let it go. Shit happened, oh well, you know, you just gotta let it go and move forward. Don't forget, um, Rosa's out there barking, I might have to close my window. Um, Rosa, anyway, sorry guys. Um, in order for you guys to move forward, you have to, uh, oh, 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 that's what I was saying. Um, don't forget, you know, hold on to the lessons that you learn, what it taught you and how you've grown as an individual since that all of that shit went down. But also let it go. Let go of your fear surrounding it. You don't have to experience it again. And you won't experience it again if you don't keep thinking about it, if you don't keep focusing on it. And you really won't be able to move forward in this relationship until the past is released, all right? Finally, Leo, we have Six of Wands, victory. There's a lot of Wands energy in this reading, and that that is great. It makes sense because we're talking to Leo here, but there's a lot of passion, a lot of spiritual um, wisdom and knowledge coming through here for you. Leo. Finally, the Ten of Swords. See? Releasing the past. And when you release the past, you are victorious. You succeed. You can take that victory lap. Yeah? But you gotta let go of the past and that come and that, that victory lap comes from releasing the past. Okay? All right, Leo. This is good. And yeah, I'm resonating with this too. I, you know, so this is good, Leo. Very, very good. I'm very happy for us. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, thank you so much for joining me. And I look forward to connecting with you guys for the second half of May. Yeah, much love. Take care. Bye.